So I was looking for textiles technique, which I could use again for the graffiti theme with my Saturday class. And I'm going to be using some splashes of paint, shapes and patterns, or um, using the paint to draw with. And then I'm going to be using a squeegee, drag the paint and take a print, or I am going to be doing the squeegee directly onto the paper. So shall we get straight into this? Okay, I've done my design for this graffiti and I'm going to use my... I'm using quite thick card and I've just put some really thin paper. So this is after I have pretty much done the design. I've not left anything to dry, so let's see how we go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I do like it. I actually quite like it with this paint all mixed up here at the bottom, which I've collected on here pretty much. Striking. I'm gonna have to do some more. I'm actually gonna see what it looks like if I just use the rest of this remaining paint on here. So here we go. Oh, nice. That is good, isn't it? Right, might have to do another one. Just gonna see what I can do different way. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh, ooh, that is cool, isn't it? This is so good for graffiti background. I don't know what to do with this one. I do quite like it like that, but I'm gonna have to, I'd like to just, this is different paper. This was a photocopying paper. Okay, Gikang. This is what we've got. So this time I'm going to get my acrylic sheet and I'm going to just pop it on top. Nice, isn't that so satisfying? <laughs> Ooh, nice one. Boom. Okay, do we think that's enough? And then we're going to drag this one down. Okay, so that's interesting. That's a slightly different card than I used with that one. So definitely about the paper, I'd say. And also I'm thinking that these are too thick. I'm going to get a print of this. Let's just try that. It's going to be blotchy, but let's just try it. Okay, it's got some mileage. I'm gonna leave this to dry and let's do one more. Okay, so what I did there on that one is I just took a print of the remains of that print that I did on the acrylic and then I've just dragged and that's what it looks like, so. Okay, for this next one, I've just stretched some fabric out there. I am going to do the same thing with the paint and pop it on here first and then drag it through with the squeegee. Okay, here goes gang. 
masking tape around this, but I just want to have a go. I'm just keen to get going. So here we go. Oh, that's, I love it. It's moved a bit, but yeah. So I definitely need to stretch it nice and taut, masking tape all the way around. But as an idea, I love that as a background to sew into. Perfect for graffiti. This time I'm going to be using these smaller tubes, which have got a smaller nozzle. Whoops. And I'm hoping that I can get a little bit more detail going on in here. So let's give it a whirl. Hmm. Okay. Moment of truth. Let's do this. Light, isn't it? I'm going to change the paper. Okay, we're giving this another go. I've got some cartridge paper, thicker from my sketchbook, and I've done a new design there. So let's have a go. Oh, that's definitely stronger, isn't it? Whoops. Yeah, that's definitely stronger. So those were the two that I did on similar paper. Certainly, I think they come out fuller, don't they? I also think it's to do with the pigment, the strength of the paint. Although I do prefer using these smaller ones, with the smaller nozzle. Just feel like you've got more control. So thank you for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it and it's given you some motivation to have a go at this textile technique because obviously you can use it on fabric as well as a good base to work on top of. So in my next video, you will be seeing how I develop those backgrounds into adding stitch free motion embroidery on top of them. So don't forget to work through the playlist, which I'll leave up there. And also, if you haven't subscribed, I'll tell you what, there's another plane coming over. This always happens when I'm videoing. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you so much for being the best subscribers and making this community a lovely one to have. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. Do give me a like, it really does help this channel grow. Hit the notification button because then you can see when I upload, when my videos are out there for you to watch. So have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.